I got married very young um, to my husband. Uh, we met at Christian camp and we were married for 12 years. I found out um, 12 years into my marriage that my husband had committed adultery. And, and when I did, it took me on a journey. So the first time that um, I really began to really work on hearing God's voice, I was laying on my bedroom floor and um, I heard him ask me, ask me a question. And I said, oh, okay is my marriage over? And, uh, and I heard no before I could even finish my thought. And then I said, okay, well then, what do I have to do? And I heard nothing. A friend of mine uh, told me to pray and ask God what the key was. And this was literally the week of my divorce going through. Out of obedience, I did, I prayed, and the, the next morning, God showed me a picture of a key and the word love. I started loving my husband unconditionally no matter what he did. We have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old and um, you know through that process my daughters were able to see and I didn't hide much from them so they saw when I was hurt and they they saw me um, praying and um, we would play praise and worship music and we would dance and and go to church and we would pray for daddy <laughs> and I remember when my, my oldest found out that her daddy was coming home, she ran over to me the, the moment he walked out the door and she said, Mom, our prayers worked. You know, daddy's coming home. And that was just amazing because I was so broken and hurt by trying to be a mom. And the enemy gets in there and says, well, you're failing, you're not doing enough. And but when that happened, you know, my daughters got to witness that. We planned um, a restoration ceremony a few months later, and then we got remarried. It took over four years, but um, today my marriage is restored, and my husband is home, and I'm expecting our third baby. The four years that my husband was gone was a journey for God to be enough. No matter what happened with my marriage, no matter what happened with my life, I came to the point where it didn't matter because all I had was Jesus and that was good. Mm -hmm.